guys welcome to expertizer academy uh, today we're going to look into AutoCAD plugin development and this is a bit more into uh, zooming into a particular location in your AutoCAD so this is one of the sort of like a little advanced sessions uh, but this code generally doesn't change it's like a template that you can use it almost like any program that you write um, so I'll quickly run through some of the things and then uh, we'll take it from there all right so first thing is um, so we're going into AutoCAD plugin control AutoCAD project. And um, so the references, we're not adding any new references. And uh, so this exercise file, the project, entire project, you can get it from GitHub link from the description. All right, so the first thing is uh, we're writing two methods. One is a zoom to function. So that's that's where you know we give the command to uh, AutoCAD to do a particular job. And the second one is the zoom function. So this zoom function uh, is a code that you can use it literally in any program this is like a template so yeah so this is pretty good so what we're doing here is um, just quickly running through there is actually quite a bit more details in there um, so I don't want you to stress yourself onto the details uh, because most cases some of these programs are a bit advanced you can just use it as a template it does the job um, so the main thing this one does is um, zooming into a particular location uh, into your model space or viewport it zooms into a particular location that's all it does so now uh, the first thing we're doing is we're getting the active document so that is your current drawing that you open and then uh, we're getting the the current viewport which is probably your uh, model space or one of the viewports you digged into so that's the first thing so the default uh, viewport that you're looking at and um, so you can see the comments which is which is there so first is we get the extents of the current space so what is a uh, the lowest point which is a lower left corner and the top right corner and uh, things like that so just goes through that see if it's a paper space model space it gets a value if it's a model space paper space and then it omits the transaction so the transactions you know this is a, probably the first lesson we're seeing it but we'll get in deep in depth so what happens is uh, any database that you work with um, when you're adding data so what happens is you add it and then you commit it so add it sometimes you don't want to commit it you discard it so that is basically a transaction just as this is to avoid uh, human errors if multiple people are updating the same document or same table uh, we don't want multiple people uh, corrupting the database so that's why we have transactions DWG file is actually a database so if you split open DWG file it, it looks like an SQLite or something so it's like a database uh, flat file database all right so now uh, current view so it gets a current view so the extents of the current view and then uh, this is one of the main functions where it actually converts your WCS world coordinate system to the DCS and um, so it gets the direction the target the maximum values and all that sort of stuff and then it gets the 3d matrix and um, then it will try to calculate if there is any center point so that means you know you're calculating your lowest right and top right corner and then it calculates the center point as well uh, creates extent line so that's a line and then uh, calculates the ratio of width and height so that's based on your uh, how much width you want to set to your view and the height based on the extents that you have calculated and um, then see if the center point is provided if the center point is provided generally uh, it baselines the view based on the center point and then um, calculate the new width and height that is what the value that you have given based on that it will zoom to that location and then set the view so and finally we set the current view to the view that we calculated okay so whatever the view that we need to set it up so this is a lot sort of like a standard method so now our function what it does is it actually uh, we just going to specify some static um, points we're going to have some two static points just some some small box and then uh, we're going to send these values into the zoom function so that the view is going to be altered let's go to autocad and then uh, let's do zoom to you're not going to find much because it does the zoom function but you don't know what is happening okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a line for these points so I'm going to say PL and then the starting point is 1.3 comma 7.8 and then the next point is 13.7 comma minus 2.6 okay so here we go so we got a line so now it's easier to see how the zoom function works so now I'm gonna type in 
zoom to and then you can see it zooms to that extent all right so that's the zoom to function uh, subscribe to the channel guys if you have any questions let me know thank you